Hello, I'm Nick. Today I will show you how to use Anima to turn your Figma design into code in just a few minutes. It will be fun. We start our journey in Figma. This is a design that I want the expert to code. The landing page contains a few sections. The hero section with the text and imagery, cards with the services we offer, and the bottom area with contact information and email form. The first thing that I need to do is to ensure that I use Auto Layout. Click on the section and check the Auto Layout setting in the right side panel. If you have Auto Layout enabled, it will help you avoid facing issues while exporting the design. Check all the sections in your design. And if you identify the section that doesn't have Auto Layout, use Auto Layout for it. Once you finish this check, click on Actions icon in the bottom bar. Search for a plugin called Anima. I see Anima in recent section because I used it before. Once I launch Anima, Figma will initialize it for this project. Close the plugin window. Switch to the Dev mode. In the right side panel, in Plugins tab, choose Anima. Now we need to select the layer that we want to export to code. In my case, I select Home. This layer contains the entire landing page design. The moment I select the layer, Anima starts to analyze it. You can see the design preview in the right side panel. And we can choose a text tag for our project. Click on this drop down. You can see that Anima can export design to React, View, or pure HTML. For React, we can choose UI library, language, and styling. By default, Anima creates a React project that uses ShadeCN library a very powerful open-source library of UI components. TypeScript for language and Tailwind CSS for styling are very conventional choice when you use a React. So I will go with default settings, suggested by Anima. You can see that Anima actively generates code. And now we see parts of the index.tsx file, which features a page skeleton, both content and functional elements. One important note, the time it takes for the Anima to generate code is proportional to the complexity of your project. The more complex your project is, the more time it will take for Anima to generate code. Once Anima finishes code generation, it shows a preview of three files it generated for us. Page skeleton, visual styling, and config for Tailwind. Another thing that you can notice is a warning message in the middle of the panel. It tells us that the visual in the hero section will be exported as a single SVG illustration. In our design, this image is a combination of different vector elements. So I recommend you to keep this toggle on if you don't plan to change the visual attributes of the image, such as positioning of the shapes, for example. We are ready to export our design to code. To do that, we click Prompt in Playground. This command will trigger the process of sending the code generated by Anima to the development environment. This process will also take some time, so be ready to wait for about a minute. For the purpose of this video, I will speed up this part a bit. Great, the export was successful, and now we can open our project in the playground. Once we do that, Anima will open a new tab in our browser with the playground. And while the tool is busy organizing code for us, let me walk you through the main areas of this page. The left side panel is where our interaction with AI Assistant happens. Here we will see what AI Assistant is doing right now. The main window has a few sections, code, Preview and Figma, with the code open by default when AI Assistant is working. Below it is a project file tree. We can see all files from our project here. At the bottom is a terminal window for system commands, such as building projects. When Anima builds a project, it automatically opens a new tab, Preview, which shows a preview of a coded solution. Let's open it to the full page. The top section looks fine, but as we start to scroll, we can see that cards in the service section are not organized properly. Let's fix it. Go back to the playground and ask AI Assistant to fix this issue. Type Fix Card Arrangement. It should be 2 by 3 grid. Let's see if AI understands what we want to do. You can see that AI analyzes our prompt and jumps into code of landing page to fix it. It's currently modifying the home TSX page. After it introduces the changes in the code, it tells what exactly was fixed and why. Let's view the page to understand if we still have a problem or not. Great, the problem is fixed now. Let's do a small tweak and change the headline text in the hero section. Normally, I will jump straight to code to fix the text, but in this case, 
I want to be super lazy and ask AI assistant to do it for me. Type a new prompt. Change the text in the hero section from navigating digital landscape for success to creating success stories in the digital space. Anima is working on it. It edits the home TSX file again. And this time, it even shows us the entire code section in the window where it introduced the change. Even in the preview, we can see that the text is new. But let's open the full page. Looks good. Let's do a final thing. Change the page style. Why I like the green color used on this page, I want to switch to a blue color. Let's ask AI assistant to do that. Right prompt. Change the green color of the page to a neon blue. You can see that Anima is changing the Tailwind config file right now. This file is used to set up the styling engine. And now it introduces changes to the actual styling classes. And finally changes the home TSX file to use the new styling class. Anima opens a page preview. And the first thing that you see is the image is still green. I will explain this in a moment. Once we start to scroll, we can see that we no longer have green elements. It's neon blue now. Looks nice. But why is the image in the hero section green? Remember when Anima asked us how we want to export the image in the hero section, we mentioned that we wanted to export it as a single SVG image. So Anima shows the image as it is, because it cannot be styled. Once we are satisfied with our design, we can move forward and either download it or send it to GitHub. Anima also offers a very handy feature, generating an online preview of our design. We can click Publish and it will generate a live version of this page. We can open this link in our browser to view it or send it to our stakeholders for review. That's all for now. Let me know what you think about Figma to code export in general and using Anima in particular for this purpose in the comments. Thank you.